Dear Sir, I hope this letter finds you in good health and in a prosperous enough position to put wealth in the pockets of people like me down on their luck. You see, that is my puzzle you decided to... Right. Okay. Hi everyone, this is Bremster, and this is I Hope This Letter Finds You in Good Health by James Reynolds. So, this is the next in the Hamilton Sudoku series, and this puzzle is apparently quite tricky. Um, probably, uh, I have been told, one of the more tricky puzzles in the set. So, um, again, I'm not 100% sure who set this one, um, and that's all cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, the testing results on this one came out a little bit harder. Um, but, you know, I can't say no to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and push through and make this one work. Um, if you're not interested in the musical, if you're not interested in the, uh, in musical, in Hamilton or whatever, just enjoy the puzzles. The puzzles are here to be enjoyed. But I'm doing this basically as a... Um, Sudoku pack or a puzzle pack, a themed puzzle pack in video form. Um, and I'm recording all of these in weeks in advance of when you're probably seeing them um, so I can take a break for uh, reasons. So yeah, anyway, um, let's have a look at this one. So normal Sudoku rules apply. In every box, in every row and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We have these brown parchment lines, which are basically parity lines. Um, so digits on these lines must alternate odd even parity. Any set of three ah, modular lines. Any set of three sequential cells along the modular lines must contain. <laughs> this is a weird way of putting it, but a, com a complete set of resides modulo three. Now, what that it means in practice is they um, they one will be from one four seven, one will be from two five eight, one will be from three six nine, and those are with the remainders with zero one and two. If you divide the digit by three. Um, and each run of three will have um, one of each. Um, so it's like in tropic line, but instead of going across your numeric keypad, you're going vertically in your numeric keypad. So you can use your numeric keypad to remember. 147, 258, 369. Um, and cells separated by a black dot must have a one to two ratio. Not all black dots are necessarily given. So they're the rules for the puzzle. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer and let's give this a shot. So, I'm not sure where to start on this one, except for this dot is incredibly powerful. Yeah, this dot. This dot is ridiculously powerful. In fact, I know what those two digits are, because I can't use 3, 6 on this black dot. So, this has to be from 1, 2, 2, 4, or 4, 8, but it's on a parity line. So, it has to contain an odd digit. So, it's not 2, 4, or 4, 8. It's 1, 2, and there's a 1 there. So, this is a 1, and this is a 2. Now, this can't, this is four and eight because it's all that's left. I can't use three, six, and I can't use a two on it. So it can't be one, two or two, four. So this is four, eight. Okay. Now I've got to find something else. One is in one of those. That's probably not it. This Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Well, hang on a minute. This can't be... I oh, know it can be. It's not three along from there. One of these has to be from three, six or nine. So this is from four eight. So it doesn't. Ha so neither that one two that, or that can have three six or nine on it. I'm not sure if it's those four is up here somewhere. Is it this dot? I can't put four or seven on this. I feel this line is the one that's most powerful because I've got that. 
So this can't be from 3, 6, or 9, and that can't be from 3, 6, or 9. Maybe this black dot? Because it can't have a 4 on it, it's 1, 2, or 3, 6, because it can't be 2, 4, or 4, 8. Really? How do you start this one? This can't be one, two. It could be two, four, three, six, or four, eight. One is up here somewhere. Or one is in one of these three. One is in one of those four. So four and eight means no three, six, nine. That's got to be important, right? But there's only one other black dot here. And four and eight are from different modulo groups. So it's not as if I'm restricting this dot. I mean, it could be parody. Right, this is all, all of these are even, so all of those are even. So these are all odd, except I don't, ah, uh, I really don't want to do that because I really want my modulo, uh, I might have to do odd even coloring rather than modulo coloring, which is going to be terrible for me. If I have to color both, I'm just going to stop this puzzle because these are all odd. This is even. Now, this can only have a maximum of one odd digit on it, but it could still have two evens, and that won't be a problem. I don't think it's parity here. Like, there's at least one even here, but I could have it on either of them. This, this can't be one twos, so it could be two four, three six or four eight. If it's two four, it's in a particular order. Three six is in a particular order. Four eight is in either order. But that doesn't set the parity of this because this could be two four eight or three. So this parity line isn't being set. And I can't do entropic coloring on this line because I don't know anything about it. I mean, there's a few ones and fours around, but... So this and this are the longest modular lines. So I have to have two, those two are the same. And those two are the same.
but they could be anything. Right, that could be three and that could be six. That's no problem. Interestingly, those two are the same. Those two are the same. Right, so this can't be 3, 6. Because if this is 3, 6, that is the same. And it had to have to be another 3, 6. So this is from 2, 4, 8, because I can't use 1, and must have a 4 on it. So these are now both from 2, 4, 8. Neither of those have 3, 6, 9. So that one, one that one, and that one are from 3, 6, 9. And that one's not a 9. So I think I'm going to get rid of my parity colouring and I'm going to mark those as from 369. I'm going to mark these as from 147. This is from 369. This is from 258. This is from 147. Because I can do parity by just putting in the digits. So this can't be 3, 6, because that would break this. So this is from 1, 2, 4, 8. This can't be a 1. So this and this are the same modularity. And that can't be 3, 6, or 9. So this can't be 3, 6. So this can't be 3, 6. So this is 1, 2. So this is either 1, 2... Four because it can't be one or two one two. So this is two or four. So I've got to put a three six in one of those or a nine. Actually, nine has to be in one of those. They're both even. One and two. and there must be a three, six, or nine in here. <sighs> okay. Actually, 9 has to be in here by the row. But I could still... Actually, these are all even. 2, 4, 6, 8. So these are odd. These are 3, 5, 7, and 9. And there's no 9 in either of those. There's no 7 there. I don't know that this polarity is actually helping any, though. Because 3, 5, 7, and 9 are all different modularities. So it means that could be anything. Two is up here somewhere. Yeah, this is a huge ramp up in difficulty. I mean, it did kind of destroy Hamilton's political career, so I suppose that kind of makes sense.
So I can't put four or seven in here, but I don't see how that's helping me either. Now this has to have a complete set of modulo, as does this. So if this has a complete set of modulo, it has to have, because there's no nine available, it has to have a yellow, which is a three or a six. And if it's got a three or a six, this can't be three, six. So this is from two, four, eight, because I can't use one. Therefore, it must have a four. This becomes a two. This becomes a one. This becomes a two. Which means this is not a one. And this is modulo blue. These are modulo green. This can't be, a, there's no two down here anymore. These are four and eight. But this can't be eight because eight is the same modularity as two. So this is four, this is eight. So this is blue, this is green. This is now yellow, so it's three, six or nine. Now this is blue, so this has to be blue. So it's one, four or seven, it's not two or eight. And this is blue. So this is four or seven because it can't be one. Now one and four doesn't connect to four, but it does connect to two or eight, both of which are modulo green. They're also even. So this has to be odd. So it's one, three, five, because it can't be seven or nine. This is odd. So it's one, three, five, and it can't be one. So it's three or five. And this is even. So it's four, six or eight, which are all three different modulos. Now, this is not one. This is a three, five pair. So this is actually a six, which means there's no six here. This is four or eight. Three, five. So one, two, four, and eight there. There's no six here. This is three or nine. Six is in one of those two. This is even, and it's not two, four, or six. This is eight. And there has to be an even digit on this polarity line, and I can't use two, six, or eight. So the four is on that line. So this is eight, which is modulo green. This is odd, which is either one, three, five, or seven, which is not that helpful. But there has to be a six on this line because I need to put an even on it and two, four, and eight are not available. This is the six, which is modulo yellow. This is odd, which is three, five, seven, or nine. Oh, there's no one here. So one is up here somewhere. One is actually on one of those two. And this is three, five, seven, or nine. This is breaking my brain. If this is, this can't be one, two. If it's two, four, both of those are eight. And if it's four, eight, that's broken. This is three, six. Can't be one, two. Can't be two, four. Both of those become eight. Can't be four, eight, or that cell has no value. This is three, six, which means they're both yellow. And it makes that nine. This is the three and this is the six because this is looking up. This is now five and this is three. Now five is modulo green and th three is modulo blue. I'm just using consistent coloring. I'm, it, there's no particular color. This four looks like making this one and this is two, four or eight now. but one is in a Kropke relationship with two.
No, three is modulo yellow. What am I talking about? Because I was thinking, hang on a minute, where's my third yellow? Four or eight, which are blue or green, which makes sense because I've got two blue and two green. This is not two. Can I put two evens in here? My gut feeling is no, but... So this is even, and it's not two or six. So this is a four or an eight, which means this is a seven, and this is now known. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a nine, which is modulo yellow. So this is modulo green, which means it's two, five, or eight, which is not helping much. That is modulo green. It's not modulo blue because it's right next to a modulo blue and it sees all three yellow. This is green. So one, two, three, this is green, which means it's not three or nine and it's not seven. This is a five. Take five out of all of those. And these are modulo yellow because I need to have a run of three. I don't think I actually covered that. I, I, I skipped it for some reason. But the reason that I've been alternating these is if you look at, for example, this line, I can use this line. This is green, blue, yellow, and green. And that's the run of three that has one of each. Now, this has to be a run of three that has one of each. This is yellow and green. So the next one has to be blue to continue the run of three. Every third digit has to be the same color because the middle two digits of the run are going to be like if you go a b if you need to have a b c in every run of three along a line if you go a b c and then you've got to continue from b c and then the next one has to contain an a it's got to be b c a and then you've got c a and the next one has to be b and you're going to just end up with a run of three that always is in the same cycle so that's why every third digit has to be the same modularity. So this is from 258 and it sees 2 and 8. So this becomes 5. And this is from 369. So this is 3 or 6. This is 3, 6 or 9. This is 3 or 6 because it sees that 9. So this and this are the same. But they could be 2, 8, I think. Three, seven are different. Three, this is yellow because three and nine are the same. This is blue or yellow. This is blue or yellow. Actually, this is a four by Sudoku, so it's blue. So now this, by definition, has to be yellow and it's three, six or nine. Which means this is a seven. This is a three, and I can take three out of those. This becomes yellow. This becomes nine, and I can take nine out of those. There's no nine here. This is actually a real step up in difficulty. This is now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight. So eight is modulo green. Seven is modulo blue. This can't be yellow or blue now. It sees all three yellow and all three blue. So this is green and it sees five and eight. So it's two. So these are, no, it's not one here anymore. So what are these? One, two, three, three, six, and eight. But that can't be three or six because it sees a three, six pair. That's the eight. This is a three, six. Eight is modulo green. Three, six is modulo yellow. So these are both green now because I've got all three yellow and all three blue. So these are actually a two, five, eight triple. That becomes a four. 
that becomes an eight, that becomes a four. That's really cool. So this is green. So this is green. So this is green, which means this and this are blue, which means that's four. This has to be from one, four and seven. So it's seven. This now has to be a one to complete the line. This is from two, five, eight, and it's not eight. It's from two and five. This has to be from two, five, eight. Therefore, it's eight. And therefore, this becomes four, which sets it as blue. One, two, three. That becomes blue. That becomes blue. These can't be four, so they are one and seven. And this one sets the order. Seven and one. Now, one of these is three or six. One of these is three because I can't put six in either of them and I can't put three there. This can't be three or six. This has to be a three. And therefore that becomes the yellow. One, two, three, that becomes the yellow. These become green. This is three or six, giving me a three, six pair. And these are from two and five. Two, five pair in the column makes this eight. This two makes this five, which makes this two, which makes this five and this two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is now a nine, which is yellow. That's all of the yellows provided. This is an eight, which is green. Multiple ways I could have got that. This is three, five, or seven. The five looks up making this two. This is not two. That nine makes this three, which means this is not three. That's a five, seven pair making this nine, which is yellow. Five and seven are blue or green. So this is a five or a seven. This is a known digit. I've got all three blues, all three greens. So this is the nine, which is yellow. This seven is looking down, making this five and this seven. So the five is green, the seven is blue this is now five which is green we now know this triple which is one got two got three four five six one four seven now i can't put the four there and i can't put the seven there this is the one so this is a four seven pair no one is modulo blue i still oh one four and seven are all blue which was something i could have got Now, can this be fives? If if these are both odd, this no, these these are now even. They have to be even because if they're odd, so these are the same parity. So they're either both, and that's because these this line alternates parity. So because this alternates parity, these are the same. If they were five seven there would be nothing to put on that line. That's one way to look at it. The other way to look, because I've got one, three, and nine. If they were five, seven, what do I put in that cell? That can't be odd, because it sees one, three, five, seven, and nine. So this is even. So this is four or six, because it sees two or eight. So this is even, so that's a four, six pair. The six here makes this four and this six. Four is modulo blue, six is modulo yellow. This is odd, so this is five or seven and there's a five looking at it. So that becomes a seven, which is modulo blue. That makes this four and this seven. This is now a triple. One, two, five, and eight. Now I have to put the five on this because it's the only odd digit I've got left, and it can't go there. So this is the five, which is modulo green. Two and eight, like that's the eight and that's the two. I just used that two for it. Eight is modulo green, two is modulo green. Okay, two, five, eight. This now is just a leftover digit. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a seven, which is modulo blue. 
this is a leftover digit. I've got all three blue and green. So this is the nine, which is left over in the column. And these are three and six to, for the last yellow and a five. And there's no five there. So this is the five, which is the last green. And this is the last yellow. So this is a three or a six. No, wait, wrong. Uh, that six resolved it, actually. Three and six, which looks up making this six and this three, which looks down making this six and this three. And now I'm down to a last box, which even I should be able to do. I need to put a one there, which is blue. The color I am missing now is yellow, and that should be a six. And that is, I hope this letter finds you in good health. I, wow, yeah. Almost $1,000 paid in different amounts. Eek. That was tricky. That was really, really tricky. I, I think that's the hardest puzzle in the series so far. I have I was actually told the room where it happens was going to be hard the hardest, but I think this was harder than room where it happens by quite a lot. Wow, tricky puzzle, but still under half an hour is easier than a lot of the puzzles you find out there in the community. So um, hopefully you were able to struggle through that one. And if you did get stuck, here's a video to help you. Um, yeah. Um, I, I, I could easily fall into a thing from the show and I'm not going to because that would be wrong. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. I hope you're enjoying the other content on the channel. Um, check out Bremster Gaming. I've been hoping to do some stuff over there. Um, and as always, good luck with your solving.